Hey guys, welcome back to The Happy Wife. Today we will be doing a very fun smoky eye. So let's go ahead and get started. So funny story with this look, I actually tried to do it for a concert that I went to earlier this week and it just did not work out well. <laughs> it turned out so terrible, but I wanted to give it another try and test a few other different things out that I didn't try the first time. So that is what we're doing today. So I'm first going to go in with my e.l.f. Poreless Primer. This has been like one of the only primers I've used, but I do think it helps to give my skin like an airbrushed finish and it's also super inexpensive, so I like it. And I mainly just really press this in around my cheeks and my nose because that's where my pores are more noticeable and then I just rub it on everywhere else on my face so that my makeup can lay down really nice and flat and beautiful. Alright so next I'm taking my eye primer and I am going to put this on to my eyelids because actually I'm going to be putting on my eyeshadow before my foundation today, which was really weird for me to do because I normally don't do that. However, if you are going to attempt a smoky eye, I do suggest that you do it. <laughs> All right, so now I'm actually taking some scotch tape and that was very dramatic. I'm not taking that much on my eye or that would be in my hairline. I'm actually taking a smaller piece than that and I am just putting it on the outsides of my eyeballs because I want this to be a guide for my eyeshadow to give like a wing. I almost just said a natural wing. That's not a thing. <laughs> but I'm just doing this so that my eyeshadow can wing out and look really beautiful and smoky. Ooh, that face I'm making right now. Mmm. <laughs> High class at its finest. <laughs> All right, so now I'm going into my Tease Me palette, and if you guys have been around on my channel for a while, you know that I love this palette. I'm going in with the color Lies, and I am just taking a fluffy eyeshadow brush, and I am just going to pat this all over my lid and in my crease, not so much onto my like brow bone, but this is just to kind of set the eye primer so that my transi transition shades and darker shades can mix really well. Okay, so now I'm going into my After Party palette and I'm going into the color Morning After. And I'm using my crease brush and I am just going to focus this in my crease and using windshield wiper motions to wipe it across the whole entire crease. And also, this is a very important trick to do if you're doing a smoky eye like I am and you want it to wing out. I think it's better and looks more attractive when the outside of your wing is more straight, if that makes sense, so like straight into the tape instead of using your natural curve of your lid like you would normally do on like an everyday makeup look. So make it go straight at the end and that's what I'm doing here. All right, and sticking with my after party palette, I'm going into the color Husk with the same crease brush. And I'm mainly focusing this color on the outer corner and I'm going to just about the midpoint of my crease and just using circular motions to apply this. This color is basically just like a transition color to start the beginning of the smoky eye. All right, so this next color I'm applying right now I guess I didn't show the camera what it was, but it's called Invite Only, and it's in the After Party palette as well, and I'm focusing this on the outer V. Alright, and now the moment we've all been waiting for, we are going to smoke out this eye using the color Blackout in After Party palette, and I'm actually taking a liner brush, and I'm going to line this color in like under my crease at uh, the very 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 bottom of my crease this is just going to give it that subtleness that i can blend out to smoke out the whole entire look and i'm also lining my um, outer corner and then i will go in later with a little tinier crease brush and fluff it out a little bit more on the outsides 
A good tip for a really good smoky eye is to use the black color very, very sparingly or just very generously. Don't cake it on right away or you could end up with raccoon eyes really quick. And the other biggest thing to remember about smoky eyes is blending is your friend. Remember to blend, blend, blend. The more you blend and the more less color you use, the better chance you'll have at this being successful. Now I'm just gonna peel that tape off to reveal the awesome little cat eye that we made with our eyeshadow. So now that my eyeshadow is the way that I want it, I'm going to go ahead and put my foundation on and I use the Maybelline Fit Me foundation. It's the matte plus poreless and I am the shade 105 which is fair ivory and I'm pretty sure this is their lightest shade that they have. Maybe there's one more lighter but I'm a very fair person so it makes sense why I'm using fair ivory. concealer which is the Maybelline fit me concealer and I'm going in with the shade number five which is ivory and this is the lightest shade that they have in this uh, collection if that's what you'll call it and that's actually why I love this concealer so much is because it's the only concealer I've been able to find that is light enough for me to actually use <laughs> Also, you'll probably notice that I am patting this on a little bit on my eyelid. This isn't a mistake. I'm actually meaning to do this because I am going to go in with one more eyeshadow after my face is done to kind of bring the look together. So I want to give it kind of a sticky base to apply to. Going back in with my Tease Me palette, I am going to dip my finger into this color Lush because it's kind of like a chunky glitter and I am going to just pat this on top of my eyelid to give just a little bit of shimmer and sparkle. And now I'm deciding that I don't love the chunky glitter look all that much with the smoky eye, so I'm going to take the Tease Me palette again and go back into the color Lies with the small packer brush and just kind of dust that on top of the glitter to dull it down a little bit. Okay, so I am taking this brush, which I like to call it a smudger sponge brush. I'm not sure exactly what it's called, but I use it for smudging underneath my like lower lash line. And I suck at explaining what I'm doing on the lower lash line, and I also feel like it's kind of self-explanatory a little bit if you watch and see what I'm doing. Anyway, I'm just basically going to recreate the top of my eyelid onto the bottom. So I'm going to go in with that tan shade we used and then the darker browns. And then I'm going to carefully go in with the black because I don't want it to be a little too bottom heavy because that'll make me look very, very, very sleepy. So now I'm going to take my line stiletto and I am going to just put my eyeliner on. This is a liquid eyeliner. The reason I chose this one today is because it has a thinner applicator so I can make it have a thinner line because I don't want to do a thick eyeliner or even a wing. This is literally just going on my lash line to help conceal lashes once they're put on. <laughs> But yeah, I just wanted a really thin eyeliner look because I want the smokiness of my eye to be the star of the show. And then I'm gonna tight line my eyes using the 
wet and wild eyeliner. And putting a little bit of my Lash Stiletto mascara on. I'm going to be using my Ardell Demi Wispies today, and I'm also going to be adhering them with my Duo Lash Glue. A lot of people don't like this lash glue, but I don't have a problem with it. Using my Maybelline Fit Me Finishing Powder, again in the shade number five, which is fair which is also the lightest shade ever. <laughs> I'm going to be setting my under eyes and I also like to set my smile lines and a little bit on my forehead with like a fine packer brush for like the face. <laughs> and then I use my big fluffy brush and I take just a tiny, tiny bit just to set the rest of my face, just because I love the way the finish of this powder looks on your skin. Like you look like a porcelain doll. So now let's go ahead and do my eyebrows and I honestly almost forgot about them because I'm not doing my makeup routine the normal way I would. And I'm going to be using a L'Oreal Brow Pomade for this. This is what I always use. I start off by spooling my eyebrows and then I just go in with my pomade and fill in all the empty gaps. and final steps of this look I'm going to go ahead and do brontouring and that's where you contour and bronze your face at the same time because I don't have time for contouring <laughs> so I'm going in with my L'Oreal Lumi bronze it powder and just with a sculpting brush and I believe this is in the shade light which shouldn't be a surprise but I'm just uh, putting my bronzer on where I want to be bronzed and then I'm going to blend it in. For my highlight today I'm going in with a Maybelline Master Chrome and this is my absolute favorite highlighter that I have. This is the color Molten Rose and it's just so gorgeous. And I also partly use this for my blush a little bit too. I don't put blush on normally because I have a very pink undertone and my cheeks naturally turn red very easily, so I feel like I don't really need blush. <laughs> so now we've reached my favorite part of doing makeup, which is putting on the lip color. Today I'm going in with the Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink and I am using shade number 10, Dreamer. Basically what's left to do with this look is to do my hair and that's what I'm going to do but since this is my normal makeup tutorials I'm going to do my dramatic hand thing. So 
so I think the pigtails are making me look like too much of a little kid or maybe I needed to like wrap them or something so that they stuck out more I don't know <laughs> but this is the look that I wanted to do on Tuesday when we went to the concert but uh, it ended up looking very very raccoon eyed yeah so this is the look and I'm so sad that this didn't work out on Tuesday because and I still might do this <laughs> I was gonna put like um, video clips of the concert in at the end because it was oh, so good but not very fun waking up at six o'clock in the morning the next morning to go to work so worth it <laughs> Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this makeup tutorial and that maybe it helped you create your own smoky eye because they are really challenging and there's like a real learning curve with them and honestly the best advice I could give you for smoky eye is don't overthink it because I know that a lot of people have like different tricks and stuff and they say that you have to build up the color and so you add like so many eyeshadows and honestly that's what I did the first time I tried this and this time I used what like four eyeshadows like a skin color a tan a darker brown a darker brown and then a black and also be very very careful while using black and start with very small amounts and then blend your way to what you want and you'll get there and you can do it if I can do it anyone is capable of making a smoky eye and obviously this isn't like black heavy makeup but I feel like this is the kind of punk rock girl I am like kind of like a sweet not fully grunge if that makes any sense that doesn't make any sense at all but this is what I wanted to achieve and so I'm glad that I finally did and this was a really fun tutorial to film for you guys and I've just been wanting to play with makeup lately so here it is and if you guys enjoyed this video then be sure to give it a like and if you're not already make sure to subscribe because we have a lot of fun on my channel and there are more makeup tutorials like this well not like this they're different but <laughs> lots of fun makeup tutorials and hit the bell notification um, if you want to know anything else about me check out the description box below also, everything that I use today in today's tutorial will be down in the description box below as well. And thanks so much for watching, you guys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys. Find the words we'll see in time